I'm a food expert and um, uh, post MS uh, food expert, and I I have uh, been dealing with diabetic food uh, um, problems for the last uh, say around uh, 17 years. So I, what I have found is that these problems are actually very complex and complicated. The uh, they present a challenging situation to the surgeons, and especially in a country like ours where the infrastructure for food management is not developed, the health prof care professionals are not trained to identify the disease early. We usually the patients usually present very late to us, and uh, by the time the patient, we, the only option left is a loss of limb. So. Uh, it's very important that in our uh, country uh, that we have a proper system where we evaluate the food, evaluate the wound or also identify the at-risk uh, feet and the very very high risk feet um, while screening for the foot and while examining the diabetes uh, patient we can also do the foot screening so as to identify the high risk feet and prevent them, prevent the first ulcer prevent the ulceration and also protect the feet and give the footwear and the uh, general foot, uh, foot care education. So all these things are essential and once the neuropathy in the feet develops, then the whole cascade of ulceration also begins. So 50% um, of the diabetic patients will not at all complain about the um, any symptoms of neuropathy or any symptoms of vasculopathy and uh, even they may not feel the or the they may not notice the pre ulcerative signs such as callus and corn unless and until they give a problem so the feet do not complain because they are silent because of neuropathy and as a result the wounds uh, that develop may be neglected for a long time patient may actually keep on walking over the ulcers and uh, they become they become burst and infected and it's an infected foot ulcer which has a uh, poor outcome so to prevent this disaster, we have to evaluate the uh, and categorize the lesions properly, classify them and do a good wound care and also um, many newer wound healing modalities are available, surgical offloading techniques are available which uh, uh, actually uh, take care of the deformities also and help in offloading the patient with minimal invasive in uh, minimal invasive technique and uh, they actually help the ulcer to heal and the wound uh, to heal in an excellent manner so uh, a knowledge about the foot as a whole uh, is essential uh, to the patient, his relatives, even the healthcare professionals and um, this may go a long way in preventing the feet uh, from getting amputated and uh, thank you so much. Thank you.